You see them in almost every neighborhood across America. The summertime stand set up by kids in their first entrepreneurial effort. That's what we were just talking about. Uh -huh. Staying hydrated. Mm -hmm. Usually they're selling lemonade or maybe some sort of arts and crafts. Yeah, it's a path one young Boise, Idaho girl is also following. She's hoping her small effort will have a big impact. Brian Holmes introduces us to her. The lemonade stand a staple of summer that sometimes loses its steam, abandoned as adolescent interests abate. Then there's Bentley Martinez's bakery stand. Whoops, nothing stopping her. Nope, <laughs> not at all. Since school's been out, Bentley has set up Bam's bakery shop. So it's my nickname and my initials. Under the shade of the front yard maple tree, where setting up. Sit here usually leads to standing by and wait waiting and waiting and waiting yeah for customers the waiting hi hi how are you good is worth it for bentley there you go i really thought she'd lose interest in about a day or two and we'd be selling the stand or putting it in the garage <laughs> but the stand stands a beacon for Bentley's baked goods, like today's cherry limeade and s'mores. Because s'mores are good. All handmade by her. Yeah, my mom helps me a little. Every night before, you can find them in the kitchen. Two cups, right? Probably Bentley's favorite part of the process. Because you get it at the end of the mixing, you get to taste it. There we go. Some nights, they're up past midnight. By morning, though. Hi. Hi. Bam's Bakery is back in business. I've been looking for you the last few days. I haven't seen you. An endeavor that began as a kind of quixotic quest. Are you here every day? Almost. So it was her idea to raise money all summer, and then she would take her family on vacation. To head back. back. Yeah, perfect. The vacation Thank destination? Thank you so much. Universal Studios in Florida. A hefty price tag for a family of seven. A lot, like a thousand or something for every person. Then, about a month ago, Bentley and her family were downtown and saw a homeless couple sleeping in an alley. They gave them burgers and blankets. We are on helping her. But it also gave Bentley an idea. And I was just thinking about all the money I had and that they don't have that much. So I was thinking I could buy them clothes and like stuff for them to survive. So we got them all there. Now, instead of paying for a nine-year-old's personal profit. Mom, I need another quarter. Okay, thank you. Bentley's customers are paying for a purpose. That's so cool. Thanks for doing it. Every dollar Bentley brings in from her cupcake corner will go to Boise's homeless. Um, buy clothes and uh, blankets and uh, food. I need two extra dollars. A spontaneous dollars. summer startup. I need two extra dollars. That's evolved into a more meaningful mission. She makes good money and she is willing to just give it all away. Bentley says she usually makes about four dozen cupcakes and usually sells out each day. Her mom says well, her goal is to help as many as she can. She also says her first elderly couple that, that she actually met and helped in the alley has since found their own place to live. Good for them. See, changing lives, you're never too young to start helping other people. There you go. I love it. Okay. And to be thinking about others instead of yourself. Forget the vacation. You know, do something good for someone else yeah. that's far more rewarding. Yes.